everyone, welcome to today's restaurant show. And I tell you what, we've got a plethora of seafood ahead. We're gonna visit with Gillens and they're gonna show off some of their beautiful crab legs and they're all you can eat, I love it. And then right around the corner, we're gonna visit with Hugo's and then we're gonna go across the bridge and we're gonna head over to the waterfront paninis. So stay tuned because we've got a lot of great eating ahead. Welcome to the Crab Show. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, Chef Robert Ovens here from the fantastic Gillen's Seafood Extravaganza right here is what we're about to do. Isn't Thank it? you for having me again. Um, you've really brought some good stuff here and I'm so excited because he's been already telling me what, what they've been doing over the summer and you guys have been nutsos. It has been crazy, absolutely crazy. It. Yeah, but everybody's leaving happy. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's been a great season so far. Really looking forward to the next uh, couple months of it as well. I love it. And now remember, it is on 278. It's over there in the South Island Square. South Island Square, 841 William Hilton Parkway. And you can see it because they have all those great red umbrellas right, I mean, you can see it right off of 278. It's yeah. very easy to find them. And um, you might even find music playing yeah. certain days. Thursday, <laughs> uh, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, we have uh, live entertainment out on our deck with uh, Dave Wingo, oh, island favorite for yeah, years, been and years and years and years. He's fantastic. been around and uh, definitely a, a crowd pleaser. Yeah. Okay. So let's dig into the real crowd yeah. pleaser here. So what I wanted to show you today, Orchid, is uh, I brought some snow crab. On Tuesday and Wednesday nights, we have our all-you-can-eat snow crab, uh, twenty-six ninety-five, best awesome. price on the island. That's awesome. This is the initial order you get. Because <laughs> I was just talking, like my husband and I were thinking about the other night going to all-you-can-eat crab legs, and we couldn't think of where to go. And when he said we have it, I'm like, and is that what you get? <laughs> yeah, That's this is a your lot. this is your first order. It comes with a uh, house salad, choice of dressing, and two side dishes as well. And two, so. I mean, this is a lot it's of food. It's a lot food. of food. So you get this uh -huh. monstrosity of crab legs. <laughs> you get this gorgeous salad, which, I mean, I know I should eat all this all first, but you know I'm going to dig it. <laughs> right. And then you're going to bring me two of your homemade sides on top of Absolutely. it. Absolutely, and the hush puppies that every table gets as well. Our house made. Wait. <laughs> and you get hush puppies too. For $26.95, oh I mean, it's a heck of a I deal. Really it. a heck of a deal. I and each one it. of these crab legs as well are uh, eight to 10 ounces. So you figure your first order That's is gonna enough. be about two and a half to three pounds. Right, and they are crab. steamed, is that so, right? Yeah, they okay. are steamed. Yeah, we keep that steamer cranking and uh, come out piping hot. We have these nice little uh, butter warmers butter, here. Yes, I love that, it. You know, you don't want to dip your nice hot crab into cold butter. No, so. you definitely, and so every table gets a little bit of that. Now, yep. Real quick, because I know sometimes when we mention it to like our friends and people say, let's go out to think, let's go out for crab legs, even if it's not all you can eat. They're kind of like, I don't know how to do it. Can you just show yeah, yeah? A it can be kind lesson, of a chore. Maybe, yeah. It can be kind of a chore sometimes, but real easy. Uh, you know, you just kind of find the joints well, here, let's there. Show, let's show them. It starts like this, right? Uh -huh. And this is what you call the leg. Right. These are the legs, and this is the knuckle. And that's the knuckle. And okay. don't throw out the knuckle. A lot no. of good meat in the knuckle. And it's real easy. You just, you know. Crack off at uh, one of the joints and okay, so it's you know, the joint. So you want to hit it at the yep, joint. Yep, right at the joint. So you just sure, absolutely. So you take it off from here, mm -hmm. and you and you want to pull gently too because you might get. See, I didn't get as much meat out. Right. But sometimes you can, <laughs> you can pull, pull that pull meat, meat out, right? Right, right. And then you find the joints as well, and you could just pull. Oh my and, gosh! Right. And uh, the so the shell on the snow crab is actually soft enough that you can just you know. Kind of crack oh, yourself. Oh, you are good at that. And uh, or we also give you the the lobster yeah. cracker to help you as well. So in this one, I did it at the joint, and you want to just kind of break it gently. Yeah, oh, break it, it like easy. that, yeah. and, uh, and you should get a big chunk of oh meat pulled God, out of there. Oh my God! Look at that. If this is my family, we'd be like, look what happened. And I can guarantee you're not going to get the uh, the crab that sticks to the shell and it's gooey inside. Yeah. We cook it to perfection every time. Um, so that, okay, so that's a quick listen. And look uh -huh. at that. That was so easy. That so was easy. really easy. And I think you are right, because sometimes people don't cook them correctly. And right. then you're like trying to rip them apart and pull them yeah, out. And, and it's, a, it's a real chore, but uh, not with so us. We make sure it's cooked perfectly for you. Absolutely. One more. And then now, and then I would break it here. Mm -hmm. My kids seriously are like, Mom, can you open it for me? And then I don't end up eating anything. Look at that. There See, you go. That's See? Very exciting. Perfection Maybe every time. Towel. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So now that's going to be part. That, now you have that on. On your regular menu, we have it on the regular menu as well, but it's a real big hit on our Tuesdays and Wednesdays. All you can eat. Okay. We uh, we go through a lot of it, and everybody's always so happy. As many refills as you want, we've got them. And what's your record? You uh, said we that. actually had a guy <laughs> that had about ten to twelve refills. Oh I ended up God. going out and shaking his hand because I don't in, know how he. That's <laughs> insane. That's like here, sir. Here is the case of right, crab legs. I'm, I'm pretty sure he <laughs> ate his salad yeah. and all the sides too. 
Go ahead. Um, okay, so you that's regular. So if I don't come on Tuesday, Wednesdays, I can still get crab legs. Absolutely. Still on the menu, so lunch, there. dinner, yeah. you know, all day long we can uh, get it. For and, you. and we're only talking crabs here because I know, I mean, they have a plethora. They have everything. Everything that you can imagine. It. Well, it as, our owner, the ocean. as yeah. our owner says, if it swims, we've got it. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, so let's dip in really quick into this. Yeah, so, you know, if you thought these were big, the snow crab, these I brought, uh, which is, in my opinion, just one of the coolest things we have. I just can't. It is the grade A red Alaskan uh, king crab. Oh, my god. You know, gosh. all those shows you see. I was just going to say, guys, I feel like a, you know, what's risking their show? lives. What is to, it? It's like a, the, oh, Deadliest catch. Deadliest catch. Yeah. That's what I feel like I'm about to that's eat. That's what right it now. is. That's <laughs> the exact, that's what all these guys are out there that risking their lives awesome. to get us. Um, and I do want to mention as well, you know, you look at something like this and you think, oh my God, you know, that's going to break the bank. Right. We make it affordable for you. Okay. You know, good. you're not going to go out know. with empty pockets. You know, Absolutely. we make it so that the regular Joe can come in and try the Absolutely. best crab that money can buy. Now, but this is a full order. This is a full order, but we also. This might be too much. Like, if I might see that and be like, that's, I'm just. It's, it's very too much. rich. You know, yeah. it's, it's a good one to even share the full order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, um, you know, and then, you know, we just cut it in half for our half for order. Half so order. we sell it either way. That is and, great. And I mean, if you thought these had a lot of meat in them, oh, this is, gosh. it's ridiculous Look how much is. That is, now these obviously are going to be a little bit harder to, because right. they've and got a little bit of like a, a, uh, like a it's spike the, on them right, almost, right? Right, the spines on them there. But, uh, you know, in the kitchen we make it easy for you. We'll score the back with our knives so oh, that you, you can pull the meat out nice okay. and easy and you don't have to worry about pricking yourself on the legs. Right, because that, that does make a big difference. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so. Absolutely. Um, so just want I mean, there's so much to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so much to eat and this good stuff and this especially all you can eat. So Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Do you recommend reservation? Like how do you uh, do that? This time of the year we are, I mean, full tilt. We're going strong. So if you want to call ahead for a reservation, we absolutely take them. Okay. Uh, larger okay. parties, you know, especially please give us a ring. Because mm -hmm. we don't want you waiting too long. Absolutely. You know, we want you to come in and enjoy what we do and and yeah. get out smiling. Or sit at the bar and wait and have a few oysters yeah, too, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, if you come in before 6.30, we've got a heck of a happy hour. Yeah, yeah. oh, and then, and of course, they shuck the um, oysters right there right at the there bar. In front it's of you. awesome. So definitely check them out. They're a hot spot this summer. Um, and remember, the red umbrellas, that's where you turn. Yep. <laughs> well, even across. Or you might see somebody out there playing a guitar. Yes, or? absolutely. So <laughs> please check them out. Call if you have a big group for reservations. And remember, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, all you can eat crab legs. $26.99? It's at $26.95. $26.95. Save that four cents. There we go. <laughs> and um, and uh, they will be more than happy to take care of you and feed your crowd. So thank you again, thank Chef. Thank you, Appreciate Orchid. Appreciate it. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you so much, Chef Robert. I love those crab legs, and my husband and I will definitely be in to dig in. And up next, I have Chef Keith Jodway from Hugo's showing us a beautiful summer lobster salad. All right, guys, <laughs> welcome back to the restaurant show. And we are talking some fantastic summer food here because it's getting hot out there. And I've got the hot, hot Keith Godway, <laughs> chef right here. Um, actually, you're gonna be telling us about a couple things that you have coming up. We have some cool things yeah, happening. Yeah, so let's talk food and then we'll talk right, the events talk that this, you have coming up. That's my favorite conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Is, uh, we're talking lobster salad. Lobster, love it, love Creamy it. cognac dressing and uh, so uh, lemon vinaigrette. We're gonna toss it up with some of these awesome ingredients, including Look asparagus, how beautiful they some are. grape tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, we're gonna mix that up. Uh, we're gonna toss it with some spring uh, some spring lettuce. Right, right. And a little grapefruit vinaigrette, I which we're gonna make right now. It's gorgeous. It is, that's the whole thing. It's a very colorful salad, but it also tastes fantastic. Yeah, well. okay. and it's crunchy. Mm, it's and crunchy, it's, it's and fresh. Yes. It's light orchid. And then there's, it's also a little bit, um, that citrus gives it a nice tang it's too, right? It's zest, it lends itself wonderfully and it goes excellent with a nice oaky, or with a nice uh, Sauvignon Blanc yeah, or an oaky shark. Perfect for the summertime, mm, absolutely. absolutely. by the pool, and it is pool season, so it you'll is be definitely watching your pool figure. Season. <laughs> this, by the way, is almost virtually fat free. Yeah, the, well the yeah, truth. because there's no fat in anything that's right here. Yeah, not at all. That's oh, for sure. Just a few drops of olive oil. Which okay, is good. yeah. But that's, what, I mean, that's, that's to be expected. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, yeah, you can work that off when you're uh, running up and down the beach. Or going to the refrigerator your to get your Sauvignon Blanc. Exactly, very good. <laughs> you I know like that walk, that. it's a I brisk like walk. Style there. <laughs> okay, so I have some onions that I just sort of chopped up, okay. and I'm going to add a few drops of, uh, of uh, olive oil, yep. EVOO, right? Absolutely. Extra virgin. And I have a grapefruit that, um, okay. you know, actually this came. Uh, 
right out of my neighbor's yard. Did it really? It sure did. That's awesome. And it's in season, right? It's I mean, in it's, season, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Great love fruit. it. It's zet. Doesn't it smell delicious? Oh, I, love, I love grapefruit. Now, I'm partial to the ruby red. This, I, yeah, I feel like it's a little bit sweeter. Are, yeah, sweeter. absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. nice. This is kind of a, it, it almost has, it's almost like a cross between a ruby red and, okay. a, and, a, and yeah. a little bit of a yellow grapefruit. It and is whatever so sweet. She, yeah, I And you love can it. see, actually, I've, 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 I've taken some of the liberty oh, of see, slicing this so already. Good. It and looks, it is nice and red. It's beautiful. We're going to put this right into the salad with the zest also to be a part of the dressing. Perfect. So as you're doing that, um, now you have a fantastic French cooking class coming. He does a lot of demos and he does a lot of cooking classes. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your next cooking class as you're making this okay, up. Okay, so June vinaigrette. 28th at Michael Anthony's, you call okay. make a reservation. Okay. Um, they fill up really quickly, so yeah, we want to go fast. I, especially this time of year. I'm teaching a French cooking class. Oh, I love it. Um, you know, I, uh, I studied in France. Okay. Yo, I didn't know that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we, oui, bien sûr. No, hello. I'll oui. say. <laughs> All right. Oui, oui. Oh, <laughs> One year French class All right. in high school. <laughs> so we're going to be making soufflés. We're going to be doing um, some really cool muscle, uh, muscle appetizer. Yeah. And uh, make, make your reservation now. June 28th. It's 11:30 a.m. Everything it's a Friday. that you're making. You, yes, there's an ample portion of all. And there's three courses gotcha. oh. and also three ports. There's a prosecco, a red wine, and a uh, and a white you wine. You already said prosecco. And sometimes you know we actually bring in like a little cocktail, uh, yeah. little cocktail intermezzo. So it's so a lot it's of fun. Interactive. It's, it's not just watching you make something Absolutely. and then wishing that you could taste it. Sure. And we also do hands-on courses over there as well, where you can awesome. participate and you make the food yourself. That's awesome. However, That's awesome. let's make okay, this lobster so we're gonna salad because I am so hungry for I this know, lobster. Right? <laughs> Awesome. Right, so I have my dressing, which is just simply olive oil, um, a little bit of grapefruit right. um, zest, right. and some and some chopped onions, and uh, I'm gonna add, add a little bit of coriander. Oh, nice, right. nice spice in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a nice little touch there. Yeah, a, a nice little, little different. Touch. Yeah, and then mm, real quickly, smells so good. Just to bring out the flavor. Just for orchid show, I'm going to add yes. a, new, a, new, a new herb. So, so a little bit of cilantro, yes, which you know I love is <laughs> the, the, the yes, leaf yes, of the coriander. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All righty. Good, so, good, good. Um, let's go ahead and put some asparagus. Okay, beautiful. Some of these awesome uh, Julian bell peppers. And I like how, and remember guys, crunch as you see, color. crunch, color, and they are also cut similar sizes. Right, So you yes, don't have yes. these huge Uniform. sizes of this mm -hmm. and that, yeah. And they're, and, and they're fork ready. Yes. So they're forkable. Absolutely, forkable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new word. Can you coin I just that phrase? Yeah. I think it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to add that to Webster. All exactly. Right, so some, some red onions. I picked right. uh, some grape tomatoes that I sliced. Okay. Uh, and the grape tomatoes, grape you just sense. slice them up. You just slice them down. You can slice them any way you like. But yeah, those I, you are know, nice. You want to add a little bit of contrast to our, 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 our forkable vegetables. Yes. These are also very Absolutely. forkable as well. So a couple of grapefruit sections I go in there as well. I love putting fresh citrus fruit in there. Now like these that. are fun because they're crunchy and they're yes. colorful and they actually add a little pepper to yeah. our, which is great with grapefruit. I love it. These are just red radishes. Good old radishes. Uh, julienne. Yep. And then you only have to buy a little bit, so, and you get so much from I that. know, yeah. and they're cheaper. Like, like, yeah, like, like they're nice. Buck. We're going to put this on later. That's uh, some, some, oh, some love, shredded carrot. Yes, and love. this is just not shredded. This is fun well, shredded. Okay, <laughs> that's sorry. Sweet. That's my version of <laughs> yes. shredded. Okay, so we're going to add our dressing. Oh, that's beautiful. Pasta and then there's another bit of bite from the onion, too. Mm. Oh, love yes, it. right, exactly. Love mm -hmm. it. So let's toss that up real quick. Oh, that's going to Add nice. a little bit of, now this is going to actually accentuate the flavor of the... Grapefruit. Okay, a with a little bit of pepper. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. Uh -huh. And again, it's more color. Right, more color. It. Now, I have, uh, so we'll let that set for a second. Okay, okay, so in that way it really blends in with the flavors. I brought but it my make lobster it that, I, that I cooked oh, already, and I, uh, and I took the, uh, this is the great thing about this dish. It's a lobster salad, but it's virtually work free. Yeah, okay. I like work free on the food. <laughs> if, you, if you can do it, let's do it. Right, so let's season up our meat a little bit. Oh, and you're putting in a what's a little bit left of a what's little bit of the dressing. dressing. Perfect. Yeah, so Definitely, every, every little bite needs to have a perfect season flavor. Now, this is what you offer this. Um, you, you might, it's a special, though, so it's a, daily it's a signature special. special. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe at lunchtime, nice and light. Very during light. The day. It's awesome. Look, uh, check this out. Creamy cognac dressing. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to season the shell. And since I Because you do up my need lobster. a little bit of that creaminess to it. So then, because mm -hmm. you really don't have, like, you know, there's not a dressing dressing because it's a it's, light it's vinaigrette, right. so this is it's nice. Perfect. You you read my oh, mind. Oh, that it, is good. Exactly. So is it just enough creaminess? We're gonna I love rebuild it. it right inside of the sh right inside the shell. Yeah, Again, absolutely. Uh, this is the only shell part of it. Yes. And let's put this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Just like that. 
Look at all of that lobster. So I know, isn't it? And it's, it's just it's so just rich. Exploding with yeah. lobster. We haven't even added our, so added so our salad yet. So Look at that. How happy would you be if you got this mm. on your plate, ladies? I mean, that is gorgeous. Oh, it's perfect lunch. Although, you know, my husband is a little bit of a health nut. Not crazy, but he would love to have this at lunchtime. This is a great dish. Because he's in the heat a lot during the day. Because he's, you know, and he's. Uh, this so is nice. one of those. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, let's just finish it off with a few little. Vanity dots. Yes, absolutely. And of course, I would be dipping my lobster in there. Right? Uh, that's the whole idea, Orchid, right that there. That is gorgeous. Lobster salad. Thank you so much, Chef. Enjoy and, that. And uh, June 28th, remember, he'll be at Michael Anthony's. June 28th, come see us. Come a, see us at Hugo's. Uh, French cooking class. And mm. as always, absolutely gorgeous plate. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef Keith. You always bring in the most beautiful plates. Up next, I have a little bit of wine talk with Paul Thompson, the owner of Panini's. We're going to learn a little bit about what's special about their menu this summer. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Restaurant Show. And I have a very fun little segment ahead here. <laughs> You can't wine. go wrong when bottles of wine are lined enough, up, right? Enough bottles of wine is always a good time. <laughs> I am the owner of Panini's. This is Paul Thompson. He's been in this area for a very long time, and um, yep. and we're actually we're not going to talk food today, really. We're no. going to feature what you have at the feature restaurant. Feature some wines. Yeah. Um, yeah, we like to. We have a very extensive wine list. Yes. Uh, probably have over 300 bottles in stock at any given time. Right. And you know, we like to do a lot of different offbeat. My focus is more on really good wine for a good value That's, so I can't complain about that. You don't have to spend <laughs> a lot of money Absolutely. on wine. We have bottles from $17 to $140. Yeah so it's really depending on what occasion what kind of mood you are in you're going to fit all of yep, them. Absolutely. It, and if you want to sit inside or outside which we're going to talk about in a little bit because okay. you really have a lot of areas in your restaurant to I mean if you want to go right. for a nice dinner you want to be casual on the patio you want to bring the family in I mean there's a lot of things absolutely to do, but but you can get the wine anywhere the wine is available at <laughs> full restaurant uh, from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. seven days a week I love it and tell so. me even better you have a great special during the week during the week we uh, do a half price bottles of wine on Tuesdays and Thursdays you can't go wrong Thursdays there. we'll have live entertainment for dinner so you can come in we have live entertainment from 7 to 9 okay have a nice bottle of wine yeah absolutely enjoy dinner and I say for a nice $18 bottle of Chianti, yeah. you get for $9. And you then know, we can a, have that linguine that we saw last yeah, time on the, the show. Yeah, the linguine, linguine and clams. Well, tell absolutely. us a little about, I mean, right away I'm going to ask about this one because I already love that there is, because this is something well, different, these first two, right? The first two? With the caps on it, though. That's a little bit well, different nowadays. Well, the Stelvin enclosures, yeah. uh, a lot more winemakers are going to Yeah, them. absolutely. Uh, they do help keep the wine fresher. The corks don't deteriorate over yeah. time if the you know, wine sits too long and isn't kept right. So we have a couple of different ones, uh, different Let's styles of wine. Yeah. This is the uh, Dona Paula okay. uh, Torrantes. Very um, nice. You don't see it on a whole lot of wine menus. It is going to be a crisp, slightly acidic wine. A okay. little bit of minerality to it, but when it's chilled and served, it's just very, very refreshing. And very easy. Um, very easy to drink, I'm very sure. Very easy to drink. <laughs> Uh, this is per one of my real favorites for a bottle of wine. This is Bonterra. Yes, I've uh, actually had this one. The, I, the Viognier? Yeah, because yeah. I recognize the label from it. That's why I was like, oh, it's so, a, so pretty. It's an organic wine, which <laughs> mm -hmm. we do, again, fresh local products, organic as much as possible. Yeah, I love it. Um, it's an organic wine. A Viognier is a French style uh, and grape. And it's just, again, for a summertime wine, Perfect. crisp, refreshing. This one will have a little bit more apricot kind of flavor nice. to it. And it doesn't always mean, when I, when I think of summer, and I know, I think, oh, it's it's going to be fruity, it's going to be really light, but that doesn't always necessarily mean summer wine. Do you know what oh, I mean? No. Like, no. there's all, like apricot, to me that's not a sweet, fruity flavor. It's no. it's definitely a clean. It gives it a, gives it a richness. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. A, a richness. For somebody that likes to drink some, a little more, you know, the Chardonnays, like a Kendall Jackson yeah. or a La Crema, this is something that you will not find anywhere down here. It's it is delicious. an Italian Super Tuscan. Arioso. So, this is a, yep, Arioso. It's a three blend grape Love done it. in the Super Tuscan style. And Love this it. is a rich, 
big, beautiful white wine. Now, if I'm not sure what I want to get, like let's say I'm, let's say I'm coming for your beautiful pizzas, mm -hmm. I can ask the server to kind of give me some suggestions on, right. especially if yeah. I want, um, you know, one of your pizzas with like mushrooms and sausage, and <laughs> right. which we isn't so summery. <laughs> yeah, we can pair it up. Uh, our wine list actually does have really good descriptions yeah, okay. of each wine. Good. Um, and don't ever feel, you know, people don't need to feel, uh, and you know, bad about asking wine if they don't know. Absolutely. Most people have never heard of a Viognier or, you know, some of the off brands. This is right. a Vermentino. Right, um, right, right. You know, but Vino Verde. That's just it. That's the great thing about it is because a lot of people haven't heard of it. So right. you're not going to be the only one that night asking, exactly. what is this wine? And, and what can I pair and, it with? Exactly. And they're all, they all pair great with different things. Uh, not to skip over here, but the Vermentino. Um, this it. is what a, beautiful label a too. really, really interesting wine. Uh, not this time of year, but for oysters, yeah. people always say champagne and oysters. Yes, They're yes. wrong. No, not that. This is the I'm best. Like, yes. This is the best wine <laughs> with to go oysters. with oysters. Now, so a lot of these you actually have year round. Yes. Okay, all of these, perfect. All of these we will have year round. The only one that we don't uh, keep year round all the time is the Vino Verde, which is from Portugal. Uh, it is a light alcohol, low alcohol wine, mm -hmm. slightly effervescent, just made for sitting outside and drinking Perfect. a bottle and enjoying it. And it, This is not, none, you will not find any of these at your grocery stores, that's for, for sure. Yeah, mostly, yeah, there's not the Chardonnays or the Pinot yeah, you know, Grigio. Absolutely. And that you said, choice. there's even a little bit of a bubbly to it. Right, it has slightly effervescent Love in it. the summertime, just really refreshing. We actually make our homemade sangrias right now, our Sea Island sangria is made with the Vino Verde. Okay, and, this, and sangria so, is something that you can get at the restaurant right, all we do, the time? Right, we have five different sangrias on the menu right now. I love uh, it. We do a red, a white, a perfect peach, a Sea Island sangria, and a peach, green apple you can't sangria. Go wrong. That's awesome. So um, now, and I know we're going to taste. <laughs> right, yeah, we got a little taste. <laughs> but well, we'll go. but um, tell me a little bit too about what you have going on on the weekends. Because I know, I mean, that well, place is happening, especially yeah. with the Water Festival coming up. With Water Festival, we always have great entertainment uh, Wednesday through Saturday nights okay. outside on the okay. deck from you know 9:30 a.m. or 9:30 p.m. until like 2 a.m. Yeah, it's Sometimes because it goes is a little bit later. Yeah, it's a pretty happening place at night. Yeah. I mean, it's it like it changes over from this you know beautiful place to have dinner to all of a sudden it's like the happening spot to be yep. after 10 o'clock. It's yep. crazy. It's, Live, what a cool transition you know, too. Great bands. We've yeah. got a lot of good bands coming into town from. You know, as far away as Atlanta, some yeah. bands coming up from Florida. Absolutely. So I've actually seen a couple that um, that I saw there, and then I actually went and saw them in Charleston. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I saw them over there first. Like, yeah. <laughs> so you guys are kind of yeah. on the cutting edge of what's try going and, on in the south. Try and get them in uh, as quick as we can. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so, so let's go and taste this last one before okay. we run out of time. And well, this, this is the. Uh, this looks so refreshing. This <laughs> is my favorite summertime wine. Excellent. It's a Tavel, uh, French wine, 100% Grenache. The nice thing about the Tavelles, I'm prim primarily a red wine drinker. Okay. But I say, you know, a Tavelle. This is something if, nice for the summertime. If you're a red yeah. wine drinker, you will love a Tavelle. It's beautiful. It's dry, crisp, it great wonderful. fruit. Cheers, Cheers, Paul. Absolutely. Take a little sip. Yeah, that could get me into trouble on the. <laughs> That's a little too easy to drink. That is. That's not white Zinfandel. Exactly. For sure. That's that's not your answer, white Zinfandel. <laughs> exactly. Well, Paul, thank you so much for sharing all these beautiful wines with us, and make sure you check them out. I'm sure you will be packed during uh, the Water Festival. Absolutely. And but remember, they do offer that Tuesday and Thursday half bottles half during that wine. time. So um, definitely check them out. Check out the deck. Check out the inside for jazz, and we'll be back in just a moment. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Orbit. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed all of the beautiful seafood this summer that we have to offer throughout the Low Country. Just remember, there's always a little bit of a twist and a turn, and every place has a little bit something special to offer. And remember, always have fun eating your way through the Low Country.